Hey guys, Shilmara from Android and today I got the waterproof foam. You know what I'm talking about? It's a Sony Xperia Z. So here's the Sony Xperia Z. Let's take a look at the design. When you look at the device, it's definitely hot. It's old piano glass finish and the screen is tempered glass. It's 7.9mm thick and feels nice in the hand. When I hold this the Xperia Z first I feel like I'm holding a glass lap but now I feel so nice on the left hand side there is a lock key which is nice and not too sensitive so it won't go on in the pocket below that the volume rocker and the speaker and the speaker position is disappoints me a little because when you hold the phone like this the speaker gets covered and reduces the volume or even when you're watching videos or playing games in the landscape mode it reduces the experience but to solve it I use the headphones and on the left hand side there is a micro SD card slot and micro USB port and on the top there is a 3.5 mm jack and on the right there is a sim card tray the good thing about these phones when all these flaps are closed it's all waterproof allow me to show you this phone raises to seek the water in only under the depth of 1 meter and for 30 minutes and this is because it's water resistant not waterproof so let's turn off Tada! this guy is still on and working as earlier on the back there is a 30.1 megapixel camera with the LED flash and mic in the center and the front have a 2MP camera allows you to make video calls the 31 megapixel camera takes pretty good photos but no it produces as that we expect from the 10 megapixel camera with the XMR RS sensor here are some of the images taken by the device so on the hardware side this guy running 1.5 GHz quad core snapdragon s4 pro chipset with the 2 gb of ram and this thing really flies sometimes it lags but it is due to xperia's new launcher but if you put a different launcher like go launcher you are ready to go and this thing is running on android 4.1 jelly bean and sony started to seed its 4.2 update so if you want to see me showing you 4.2 of this device let me know in the comment section below let's talk about the keyboard the keyboard on this is really nice not much updated from the previous Xperia devices it's easy to type and integrated with the swipe feature allows you to type faster than tapping each word just swipe away and you are done 5 inch display is amazing and it's full HD that is 1920 by 1080 that means the TV hanging in your living room has the same resolution of this phone and it has mobile Bravia engine 2 with 443 ppi which increases the display quality but you have to compromise with the viewing angles the gallery looks great and works flawlessly and I like this the pinch and large thing and it has 16 GB internal memory with the micro SD up to 128 GB so and here the benchmark the score is 20, great it's 20,793 which is great and completely close to the Galaxy S4 and HTC One and the gaming is whole new level of this great phone it's able to run almost all my games like the Modern Combat 4, Wild Blood, Asphalt 7, Batman Dark Knight Rises and other but one thing disappoints me it can't run my Man of Steel but I think it might be the app bug not the phone Let's talk about the battery life, which is the biggest issue about this phone and every day everybody is talking about this. The battery is 2330 mAh and gives me less than a day of battery life. 
So you have to a little bit compromise with that. But if you update your phone for 4.2, maybe that would improve the battery. Other features are Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0, NFC, a GPS, and 4G network. So guys, that was the review of Sony Xperia Z. You can take this phone for the sexy design or you can go for the hardware and if you don't want this you can go for the Galaxy S4 which is much same as this device but this looks so awesome and bye bye see you later guys I'm Shivonara from Android